Good morning. This is your host, Jeff Ski Kinsey from Fast Charge Energy. Is there any other kind? Sure. There are slow, wimpy chargers. By the way, it's a great day. It's morning out there somewhere, right? And if I can help advance your efforts, you have not because you ask not. Reach out. And by the way, our efforts in the media, in the world of print and audio and visual, all things media, are powered by Rhino Island Media. So ask me for details how we can help get your message out. So this morning I awoke at around 2 a.m. And it's like, well, what's up with that? And one thing leads to another and I get this thought. And so I start exploring it and it leads to another edition of Coffee with Ski, which is a newsletter I publish on LinkedIn. So I'll include a link in the show notes, as they say. The title is called Foot Race. How do you win a foot race? Well, there's a number of people that know exactly how to do that. And one of them, I actually shared a video in the newsletter post from Joe Justice. I feel like I know him. I've watched so much of his video, interacted a little bit on LinkedIn with him and some emails, I think. We've yet to talk on the phone or in a or in a uh, video uh, episode, which hopefully I can make that happen here sooner rather than later. But he, he keeps pretty busy. Not that I don't, but I don't leave the country. At least not yet. Once upon a time, I thought about it, and then, no. But, so, part of the message that Joe is sharing is, Tesla doesn't do business like any other business you've ever seen, heard, or even dreamt of. Okay? It's an entirely different approach. He calls his version of what they do, justice boards. Okay? And Tesla is just called the board, or the boards. In this concept of, I got an idea, I think I can help in this area, and you look, and yeah, we got enough money in the bank, I can buy a robot, and I can do this, that, and the other. There's no seven-year cycle, or four-year cycle, or two-year. When I was growing up, I was really big into the small block Chevy, into General Motors, right? And every two years, they would redesign the Chevelle, okay? There was a, there was a, slight change from one year to the next. I mean, like I had a 65 Chevelle, okay? I believe it was a Malibu edition, which I heard they just dropped. But this Chevelle in 65 had a chrome strip. Mine was red with a red interior. It was a great little car, 327 with the fueler heads, if you know what that means. That means performance. And so it had this chrome strip that was below the crease along the middle of the car. But the 64 Chevelle had the chrome on that crease. So just little differences. I had a 67 GTO. Okay, It had the emblem down along the bottom edge of the car, the chrome strip along the bottom. But the 66 GTO had the emblem up on the side of the body, okay? Just little things like that. But every two years, it would get a significant redesign, okay? Teslas, they do that every car. Joe Justice points out, not in this video, I don't think, but he has pointed out that potentially every single Tesla that rolls off the line could be different than the one before it. That's right. When you talk about continuous improvement, okay, you better see a picture of a Tesla factory in the dictionary next to continuous improvement. Because I don't know anybody, anybody, and I've been in the continuous improvement arena since, what, 1992 in earnest? I've not seen anybody with this level of sophistication. And so the bottom line is when you read these articles, these clickbait, clickbait headlines saying, you know, oh, my God, Elon made this huge mistake. No, you have no idea. You have no, (laughs) you have no methodology 
no yardstick to be able to tell whether he made a mistake or not. You just, you don't have the tools at your disposal. I don't have them, okay? And I've studied them at great length for the last 10 years, okay? Anyhow, I digress. The bottom line is you need to take care of your business. I need to take care of my business. And if you can glean something from the stuff, again, the video that Joe Justice uh, did recently, I think he was in France, is exceptional. It tells you why you don't know what you don't know, <laughs> okay? And why, I mean, after I posted my article this morning, I read this thing where some guy is saying that Tesla dropped supercharging. Nothing could be further from the truth. Where do these people get these dumb ideas? I have no idea. If I can help, reach out.